In anticipation of Nene's resignation, economists say the saga has caused uncertainty and panic in the market, and this is likely to make the cost of borrowing expensive for the country. There are concerns that this could lead to ratings agencies downgrading the country's credit rating. That if a finance minister cannot be trusted, which is, I'm sorry to say, what he has proved to be not completely trustworthy by saying that, some, that he did not meet somebody when he did, by not being prepared to, to divulge what the subjects uh, under discussion were, uh, and, and in fact, you know, it appears he may have been misled the whole of the South African public through what he said uh, in public statements. That has got to say, I'm afraid, that overwhelms any other technical abilities he may have had in drawing up a budget or managing the finance ministry. Some economists describe Nene's tenure during 2014 and 2015 before he was fired as finance minister as adequate. Still, they say there's nothing that stood out as outstanding during that time. They say that Nene's reputation has been damaged by the fact that he had to apologize last week for meeting the Gupta's family at their residence in Saxonwald and their business premises. Nene also came under fire for conflict of interest after his son Siabonga Nene benefited from the public investment corporation's deal when Nene was chairperson of the board. As a Minister of Finance, he hasn't been in that position in his latest uh, tenure for terribly long to be able to assess how well he's been doing. Uh, but uh, based on his tenure in 2014, 2015, I suppose the answer would be adequate. Uh, it was not, uh, there was nothing that stood out particularly uh, as an outstanding job. But it's not all doom and gloom. Economists are optimistic that the economy will eventually recover from this saga and that there are some capable successors to Nene. Now, Lady Matlapeng, SABC News, Johannesburg. Well, the FF is threatening to intensify its campaign to get the finance minister and Tlantla Nene removed from his current cabinet position. This comes after Nene admitted during the probe investigating his state capture that he did have several meetings with the controversial Gupta family during his first term as finance minister. Revelations of state capture inquiry taking effect, leaving finance minister and Tlantla Nene's future hanging in the balance. Days after his testimony at the inquiry, calls mount for him to step down from his position. During the commission, he admitted to meetings with the Gupta family at their Saxon World residence. Early this year, EFF leader Julius Malema raised concerns about Nene's appointment during parliament. Mr. President, you are finance minister. Your finance minister is not the type of a guy we all think he is. We wrote a letter to the finance minister asking him who proposed him as a deputy minister of finance and who made him minister of finance. And when he was deputy minister, who did he promise the businesses and when he was in, in the position of minister, did he make those follow-ups on those businesses he promised those people who made him a minister from the PIC? This happens while the finance minister is expected to deliver the mid-term budget policy statement within three weeks. And taking none of it, the opposition wants the president to act. It obviously places a huge question mark over his trustworthiness and his commitment to accountability and transparency. Particularly as he's about to table the medium-term budget policy statement, it's going to be very difficult for him to credibly deliver a message that will steady the markets. The EFF has promised to hit the streets if no action is taken, as the party argues that one of the ingredients of the country's economic recovery is a credible finance minister. Step down. He ought to know that treasury cannot be presided over by a person who lies, by a person who misleads the public about, in particular, the dealings that he has been involved in on behalf of treasury and the moves he's been making on behalf not only of his family but also the judge. The ANC says its attention will not be diverted by the Nene issue. What is worrying the ANC now is the unity and renewal of the African National Congress. We are not worried about any other thing. 
and we are not going to be distracted or moved sideways. Our focus is the unity of the ANC. With calls for President Ramaphosa to take actions continuing to rise, it remains to be seen whether Nene will deliver the mid-budget policy statement in three weeks. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.